Hello everyone, we will continue the topic sub routines and in the previous video, we covered how to create a simple subroutine in which we have not passed any parameters. I'll say we have not passed any input output parameters, but in real world, yes, we should always, always give the input and take the output. Yes, suppose in case of function module also, what you are doing, you are giving the input, you are taking the output. So now we will learn how to create a subroutine with parameters. Means with the help of those parameters, we will pass the input, we will take the output. So now we will see how to create a subroutine with parameters. So what I will do, I will create a new program. And same to same program. Now I will show you how to create with parameters. I will go for create. Suppose I will give the title sum of two numbers. I will choose the type as executable program. I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. I will go for same to same two input parameters and one output variable. I'll copy again. I'll activate the program. I will pass the selection text. First input, second input. I will activate. So my input is ready. Now we will come on to the syntax of the subroutine with parameters. If I will come on to the syntax of subroutine with parameters, what is the syntax at that point of time? Perform, perform is the keyword, perform name, tables, table parameter, using, using parameters, changing, changing parameters. If I will talk about our current example, we want to make sum of two numbers. So as of now, we do not have any internal table at all. So what we will do, we will make use of using and changing. Just see this simple, simple program. What you are doing, you are using two inputs. You are using two input parameters and you are changing one output variable. It means our input is what? Our input is these two parameters and our output is what? This LV underscore output. Word itself is saying which thing you are using, which parameters you are using and which parameters you are changing. Changing means we are changing the values of those parameters. So just see in our current example, we are using P underscore input one. We are using P underscore input two and we are changing LV underscore output. What is your input? P underscore input one, P underscore input two. So that will act as a using parameter. And what is LV underscore output that will act as a changing parameter. Or if you want to understand in broader way, okay. Whatever the inputs you want to use, take it as a part of using Whatever you want to get the result, take it as a part of changing. So what I will do, I will simply, simply create a subroutine. So I will write perform. Now perform is a keyword. 
Now we will give some name to the subroutine. Suppose I am saying sub. Now, what is your input? What is your input? What is your input parameters or using parameters? P underscore input one, P underscore input two. So I will write using. Using is the keyword. So what is my first input parameter? P underscore input one, P underscore input two. And I told in the important points itself, it does not mean that we are going for two input parameter or two using parameter. So we should write using two times. No, using is only only once. Now I will come on to changing. So we are changing what? We are changing the result will come to what? LV underscore up. So we passed the input parameters by using, we passed the output by changing. Now these, these are called as your actual parameters. Now we covered whenever we have the parameters with perform, they are called as actual parameter. Now I will simply double click and I will create this subroutine. I will double click. I will go for yes. Now it is totally your wish. You want to create a separate include program or you want to include in the main program itself. Suppose I will create a separate include. In your system, Z might come automatically. So you just need to select and go for OK. Go for OK. Now you can see our actual parameters are totally three. Two using and one changing. Same thing is here. We have three formal parameters. The parameters which are with form are called as formal parameters. So we have total three formal parameters. Now, what is best practice? So that you will never, never confuse. Always give a different name to the actual and formal parameter. These are our actual parameters. Okay, so these are as it is. We are using this. These are our actual parameters. P in underscore input one, P underscore input two, LV underscore output. These are our actual parameter. Now, whenever you are going for formal parameters, anyways, naming convention always varies from project to project. But what SAP is recommended and what we should always use the best practices, always, always give, suppose, if you have the formal variables, anyways, these are variables only single value, single value, single value. So always give PV, means perform variable, perform variable. It is the best practice, one of the best practice, perform variable. So there will be no confusion. You will not confuse at all because your actual parameter, what is our actual parameter? P underscore input one, P underscore input two and LV underscore output. And whenever we are going for formal parameters, if it is variable, we are using PV at the starting. If we have in the future, we have internal table also. At that time, we will use PT, perform table. This is what we always using so that there will be not be any confusion at all. So these are your formal parameters, formal parameter. Now the next question comes into everyone mind. Okay, suppose P underscore input one is numeric two. P underscore input two, numeric two. LV underscore output numeric three. So these are the data types of the actual parameter. 
Now many people ask, do we need to give that type to the formal parameters also? See, if you have variables, if you are giving that type or not giving that type, SAP automatically understand. But in case of internal tables, structures, giving that type is compulsory. But what best practices so that you will never confuse at all? Give that type to the formal parameters also. And you all know what will be that type of formal parameters. It will be same as that of actual parameter. So that's why I'm saying you will never confuse at all. Suppose as of now, these are single, single variable. Suppose we are giving 10, 20 and output will be 30. So if I will give that type or I will not give that type, no problem. SAP will understand. But yes, whenever we have, whenever we will pass that tables, means internal table structures at that time, we need to give that type. So what the practice we will make, if it is variable, if it is structure, if it is internal table, we will always, always give that type. So what is PV underscore input one? It is of type numeric two, NUMC two. PV underscore input two, type numeric two. And anyways, rest is your wish because in case of variables, it's optional. SAP will understand automatically. Now I will check the syntax and activate. Please, please give the same to same type. If you remember in case of function module also, we are always double clicking and passing the same to same type. Otherwise you will get a type conflict error. Now we all know, we always, always has to write the logic in between form and end form. So what we will write. So now we are writing the logic inside this subroutine. Now this is the major problem, especially for the beginners. They want to understand what we need to write here. See, you are writing the logic inside this particular subroutine. So what is your variable? Now what is your formal variable name, formal parameter name? PV underscore output. Now is equal to what is your formal input using parameter name PV underscore input one plus what is this PV underscore input two. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now I will go to back button. So how this logic will work and you can see now include program is the part of this program and in this include program we have the logic of the subroutine. Now, now we will see now whenever I will give the input 10 and 20. So what is using 10? What is, what is first parameter 10? What is second parameter? 20. Control will go inside the subroutine. So what is PV underscore input 1? 10. What is PV underscore input 2? 20. 10 plus 20 will be 30. Result will assign to what? LPV underscore output. And ultimately after that, yes, result will be in what? LV underscore output. Now I will simply, simply go for the right statement. LV underscore output. Now I will go for syntax check and I will activate. In the next video, whenever we will cover call by value and call by reference, then you will automatically understand how PV underscore output is assigning the result to LV underscore output. 
as of now we are simply simply creating the subroutine in the next video we will understand whenever we are passing the values we can pass the values by call by value and call by reference that we will understand in the next video as of now we are just simply simply creating now for the best understanding we will understand in the debugging mode i will put a breakpoint i will run i will give the input 20 i will give the input 10 i will go to desktop 3 most preferable desktop so what is your actual parameter value p underscore input 1 10 p underscore input 2 20 p underscore input 1 20 p underscore input 2 10 and what is our changing what is our output variable it is blank as of now if i want to go inside this subroutine i will simply simply do f5 now you can see inside this subroutine now we have pv underscore input one pv underscore input one is 20 pv underscore input two is 10 from p underscore input one yes it now it is pv underscore input one we pass the value yes now from pv p underscore input two we pass the value to pv underscore input two now this is our changing pv underscore output is blank as of now now pv underscore output 10 plus 20 is 30 now you can see lv underscore output is 30 and we got the result now lv underscore output is 30 now what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with the creation of a simple subroutine with parameters previously we created the subroutine without parameters now we are going for subroutine with parameters now whenever you are creating the subroutine with parameter check what are the various input parameters what are the various output parameters simple understanding whatever you want to pass as a input yes man always always take as using whatever you want to take as output take as changing now we gave perform sum we gave two using parameters and what is our changing changing is lv underscore output we created the subroutine now these are your actual parameters and these are our formal parameters now what is best way always give the type to the formal parameters also so that there is no confusion at all now inside this subroutine we have written the logic and we got the expected result now maximum people will confuse at this point of time we have assigned the result to pv underscore output how how it came to lv underscore output see in the next video we will cover call by value and call by reference concept we passed the various things we passed the various things from the actual parameter to formal parameter how we are passing we have to pass by reference or we have to pass by value whenever that topic will be covered you will understand automatically here you have pv underscore output how how it assigned to lv underscore output so just wait for the future videos to come you will automatically understand or you will understand in a better manner so that's it in this particular video thank you